Hey friends, Namaste and I welcome you in the new episode of Bio Master again with our uh, previous master Sirisha Pamidi from US. So, in the previous episode we came to know a lot of things about her, how did she enter into meditation, how did she transform herself and how did she got you know a lot of experiences through meditation, how did she receive Brahma Jnana. So, today we will know more about her journey. Sirisha ji, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, Karita ji. Thank you, all the viewers. Namaste to all. And my pronouns to Dr. Brahma Shepita Mahapatri ji and Swarnamala Patri madam. Thank you. Thank you for joining again, Sirisha ji. Uh, how are you feeling today? Yeah, it's a good actually. It's a morning for us. Just now uh, I'm seeing the rising of the sun. Really, I'm enjoying beautiful no doubt like in our previous episode there was a different energy i could feel and that's why i felt like to you know continue uh, with your experiences more so yeah please tell more about uh, uh, your journey like you told about your experiences and the uh, you know brahmagyana which you uh, experienced so how are you implementing all these things in your life see uh for every meditator, initially we get some experiences through third eye or intuitions, anything, right? Yes. So we should believe those experiences, whatever we get, instead of analyzing those experiences. So initially we get, we can see some uh, uh, masters uh, or any mudras, any healing energies. Initially we get all those things. Like that, I also connected with mudra. So, mudras and all, I never seen those mudras, but when I sit into meditation, I connected the mudras naturally. Oh, okay. But I didn't analyze that, what it is and all. So, whichever experience we get, usually Patrisar asks us to express your experience, right? Whenever Patrisar comes to Pyramid Valley, I used to share with Patrisar. So, usually when we share something, any meditational experiences, Patrisa uh, listens. He listens he carefully. And after that, whatever we get answer, we should follow that. So, we, we are thinking this is the big experience, but our soul, in the soul perspective, it's not that much uh, big. Still, we need to understand more on that experiences. So, that gap, whatever uh, uh, understanding or uh, uh, perfection, it takes time, right? Every master, every seeker should be patient in this time. That's what uh, I wanted to give message to everyone. So initially, we also got all the mudras and all the healing energies. Whenever I sit into meditation, uh, uh, so whenever uh, sit into med meditation, anyone sits opposite to me, I don't know. Naturally, my hand goes and started to heal the body uh, of uh, other person. But... Yeah, with that process also, it goes naturally anyway. But we should ask ourselves a question. Is this the right process am I doing? Is this right affirmation am I giving? Just question yourself. Naturally, it stops you. Because whatever we are learning in Anapanasati, that is, we should enlighten ourselves. We are becoming a master. We are not dependent at all. Apodi Pobhava. So that is the main goal to me. That's what I took a decision. So whichever you listen from the masters, right, or from the books, but I decided Apodi Pobhava. I believed that. Uddhared Atmanam, Atmanam Mavasadiyat. So, we should understand ourselves, we should become a master. So, that is my goal, right? So, small, small things we get by practicing meditation, but our soul focus will be somewhere else. So, yes. in that process, we, we all should 
be in patient and uh, be in consistent practicing meditation that's what i understood i follow same thing i'm giving to you very true uh, but here i have i have a question there are two main points you said that we don't we don't need to analyze whatever experience we are getting we should not analyze and another one is if uh, the way you used to heal others it was happening naturally right still you ask yourself that is it the right thing because patri sir said we don't need to he- heal anyone else we are sufficient for ourselves whatever meditation we are doing everything will be done automatically right so why we should not analyze could you please uh, throw some light on it see initial stages we cannot understand right suppose we see in one book in dream or uh, in meditation experiences uh, if you are really uh, no you you usually connect to the wisdom of the master see if if i am not in the perfection stage if i see the master okay i i got a darshan of baba oh i thought wow it's 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 really i i i had a good feeling and uh, and bliss state everything i got right so f- there i i okay this this sadhana is done what i think okay it's done oh anyway i got darshan of baba so it's my way, uh, practice is uh, it's uh, done yeah so we should not stop ourselves like, i mean there are unlimited things so with, without uh, right uh, practices we don't know right so we when we got the darshan oh that is the highest uh, experience i only decided decide myself okay this is uh, my highest experience uh, i never believe it's uh, highest than that nothing is there i never believe like that so whenever i used to listen others experiences only i'll get to know or oh, is this highest still need to go further right so that's why always seekers should listen everyone's experiences otherwise whatever i got or oh, that is the biggest thing that that is the highest thing we never uh, go further we we got stuck up and uh, one another thing as you said that uh, though that was a na- natural process of healing when you were into meditation it was happening naturally but still uh, why do you think that we should not uh, or we should stop ourselves i mean we are not stopping forcefully but when you are asking question to yourself is it the right thing is it the right process it's getting stopped automatically that healing process right so how how and why it it's happen yeah you question yourself naturally the process will stop and we should connect to the wisdom of patri sir so patri sir never encourages healing process yeah. right? because yeah. see you are understanding that you are soul so naturally others also are in the same state right how do i degrade them so once i understand that i i naturally i can otherwise okay oh something is happened to my husband or something is happened to my children unknowingly i wanted to give some benefits to them with my practices but we cannot understand with the pain with that pain he is also enlightening so he is also got some lessons through the pains right so without uh, that knowledge we can interfere in their lives because i thought he is mine he is mine my kids are mine my friends are mine so in that way interfere into their lives so patri sir always asked us and do not interfere any other any one's life right Thank so you. that's why we got to connect to the patri sir's wisdom we we can understand all these things otherwise we cannot once we understand we never interfere but 
if you you are compassionate right so you can teach same anapanasati meditation to them in that way we should show our compassion to others so the right thing is to uh, telling them that right process so that they can practice by themselves they they should not depend on us that is the best thing which we learned from patri ji and uh, why patri ji said to share experience what we get af- after you know listening others experience and why what people get when we share our experiences see that's what see today i got one experience in my meditation uh, practice when i listen your experiences i can understand more right oh okay you also got same thing otherwise this is an unknown uh, uh, field right we cannot uh, see regular things uh, see with the physical eyes whatever you see you believe without physical eye, eyes uh, if you see something it's difficult to believe yourself but by listening your experience oh okay it's uh, happening to you okay then then by listening everyone's experience it makes you feel comfortable and it's common for everyone right otherwise it's uncommon maybe practices they they will they they won't continue if they get some doubts in their uh, meditational experiences they cannot continue because he never listen that experiences right that fear comes so by listening others experiences oh okay this i heard that i, I someone uh, shared this experience in pmc so now uh, i am also getting that kind of same experience means i feel little comfortable if i really want i can meet the people directly so it's a great opportunity to uh, connect the people and listening experiences through media we are giving we are sharing the experiences right so uh, when i share my experiences maybe in your next practices oh already sirisha pamidi has shared this experience let's meet her so let's get more clarity from her right so it, it, it so many chances it's there when we share the experience and when we listen the, their experiences others experiences are so beneficial in both ways right so yeah very rightly you said uh, uh, you know listening others experience it helps us in understanding in all aspects because life would be otherwise very short to go through our own experience and learn so by listening your experience i may get enlightened yeah that's beautiful and sirisha ji do you read books yeah lot of books i read so i said b- before only i started meditation at uh, my home only so only the books uh, i can connect to other masters means so i i didn't go anywhere so books are helping me a lot so whatever patri sir uh, already sir recommended so many books so all the books i started to read lok sang rampa book you forever rampa and uh, ramta book so whenever i read the book i g- somehow through my meditation practice i get some essence from that book i can experience so suppose if i read rampa book i experience astral travel out of body experience understood okay so this is the out of body experience we can travel uh, with conscious mind also we are traveling everything we can understand right so what is aura what is energy so these are all things we experience when you read the books so in that way each book whatever i read from that book i it's either experience or wisdom suppose if i if i connect the wisdom i start i start that wisdom from from that day itself 
So if I read acceptance is a thumb rule to follow in our day-to-day -day life means, I, I start. No complaints means I'll start. Immediately I'll start. Otherwise, so much complaining. So what are the other uh, best books according to you, which you liked most? Yeah, whatever Patricia recommended, all books are uh, important uh, to me, to everyone. But uh, see, uh, already I said, right, I connected to so many Western authors. Mm -hmm. So right now in PMC USA, we are doing uh, Thinking and Destiny by Percival Harald. It's a great book, you know. So, so uh, 100 years back, he got connected the light uh, on the street of uh, New York City. So, from through that light, he has written that book. He spent his time for 30 years. 30 years he spent that he spent his time and is uh, given a beautiful knowledge. So once you connect to the book, you will understand how, see, our thoughts becoming. So what whichever thought that becomes, you, you are becoming like that. Okay. So it's uh, explained in a de beautiful way. So already uh, so many books I read, but in this book, in one chapter, we, we get all the essence, whatever I read previous books, connecting to the, those books. Okay. So whenever, whenever we read that book, oh, this book is a, one is enough to me <laughs> uh, to get all the wisdom. But once we finish that book, maybe we get other book. Definitely we will get an other book. But when while reading, we can connect the consciousness of author and we get essence and we can implement. At the present, I connected to the Percival uh, consciousness so that I am experiencing that. So, uh, could you please explain more like uh, what did you... Uh, liked most and how did you get connected where you felt like you got connected to that energy yeah so uh, still it's going on maybe it's i'm not reading actually my moderator is present a from houston she is doing just i'm listening that's all but even though already i implemented uh, uh, say already patrisar is given four types of thinking right disastrous thoughts and uh, uh, negative thoughts and positive miraculous thoughts. So once I uh, connected to the Percival, uh, now I started to think in a miraculous way. It's, it's immediately it's a transformed means no. Previous books and all helped, previous practice, previous uh, wisdom, everything is helped to me to get to this state. Now I am able to connect, that's all. So otherwise, previous, see, uh, sometimes if we take a book, usually, uh, usually whichever book, sometimes I used to get sleep. Why I am very interested to read this book? Uh, by reading itself, I am getting sleep. I wanted to go into the sleep or, or in meditation. Because of the energies, because of the master's energies I'm feeling, uh, uh, it's it's uh, naturally took, took me into the trance state. Like that I'm experiencing. So every book, I'm, what which, whichever book I touch, that book, I, I got the energies of the author or uh, consciousness. Uh, naturally, I went into the meditation state or, or uh, uh, trance state. So uh, you mean to say this trance state and meditation state or if we feel sleepish also, that is for uh, because of the energy of that book. Yes, yes. We are receiving, we are receiving that energies. 
that's why we are uh, uh, so according to your uh, uh, physical body state sometimes you get sleep sometimes you want to sit more meditation because we had we had to connect still we need to practice to uh, get those wisdom to implement in your life still you need to raise your vibrations up to the master level it takes time so uh, initially i used to book i used to read book whole book later 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 what happening only some pages if i read that's all i closed the book and uh, i connected to the author and uh, only through the meditation only i connected them and uh, i took wisdom from them directly not through book so that's what i experienced uh, through the books actually now i cannot read one book at all now <laughs> if you ask me now which book are you reading i cannot only from my it's a my inner self is my book through my inner self i'm getting more wisdom all the time and do you think that all this wisdom uh, stored in our soul or that wisdom is there though we don't we are not reading the entire book but uh, whenever required that wisdom is already there yes see uh, all dimensions are within us right yeah. so wherever you focus you can connect that frequency like the tv channels right wherever you focus suppose i wanted to connect perceivable frequency now okay i connected so the, all thursdays will go okay only thursday i connect uh, to the perceivable uh, energies so when i connect to that frequency i can connect the wisdom of perceival it's mm-hmm. a by through words i don't know it's a through words it comes or sometimes uh, through experiences sometimes uh, direct wisdom i can connect that's what see uh, uh, through perceival uh, now i am feeling in the observer state now i started observing things in my daily life whatever you are see see now i i i am in front of you just observing you i can connect your wisdom this is something very interesting so sarisha ji though you don't look like a mother you are uh, really looking so pretty and young uh, you have two kids right yes yes yeah, yeah. so how's the relation uh, with your kids my elder one is doing a job now in amazon at seattle anger one is uh, doing engineering second second year of computer science okay so generally in our uh, time we faced that some issues or understanding or misunderstanding with parents how is it with you and your kids your both son yeah luckily before uh, uh, actually for my first son i didn't know the meditation after maybe uh, when he was in 6 months old i started meditation for second child already i am into the meditation so i can see the difference to mm-hmm. alignment uh, with my kids actually mm-hmm. I, i i know the difference of alignment uh, uh, with kids so uh, in that way meditation so for every parent every being uh, mother should do meditation before conceiving because yeah. that alignment uh, it's uh, comes in your consciousness automatically yeah naturally in your consciousness so that alignment helps you so uh, how to handle the kid how to what he is asking what he wants everything you can understand when you aligned with your kid otherwise it's always uh, some struggle mm-hmm. yeah. your kid want something but you want you you your wish is something yeah. yeah right your kid asks something but you are giving something it's misalignment but after meditation just observe them that's all 
you should not give anything i mean as a parent you should create environment of uh, meditation place and energies and you should follow but you should not teach i mean you should not uh, compel them sit for meditation even that intention also we should not keep in your mind through us they came to this earth to evolve themselves in that observer state we should watch them but without this knowledge it's really difficult okay if i teach only they will get to know otherwise how do they know they are they are in advanced advanced souls we should learn from them by observing them but we, instead of that we are going to feed yes. <laughs> yeah teach them so the, that misalignment uh, misconception is there so after meditation and after these practices after that wisdom just i i, I have to take care of them so i i have to serve food to them just i'm giving food and just i'm observing them that's all so we can help them if they need otherwise when they were in a small age so they need more presence right mother's presence so that's i done i done my job perfectly now they grown up they know their values so already i sent i given i i given seed this meditation seed so they practiced meditation when they were in small age after that they didn't okay i accepted initially i forced them but patrisha said no he should not force the kids right i heard that from that day i stopped i thought it is a good thing right to cult- so i am giving good thing to cultivate their mind uh, so this is a best teaching i i believed and i wanted to give give them forcefully but it's not it's not the way so do they listen you now not in meditation but uh, uh, so in other things yeah it's very good communication uh, between us b- good bonding nice yeah. listening to me is different actually so what they they're aligning with them it's good that is best for me Yes. whatever it whatever it is it's best to them that is best for me there is no good and bad whichever is best for them for me also it's i'm accepting them as it is so whatever the right thing it will happen through all of us and we have to accept it that acceptance is the best thing to uh, grow in our own way so that is in short and that is really a, a great statement indeed thank you thank you so much sirisha ji for uh, this experience sharing about your relation with your kids so friends just i wanted to say that we should accept our kids as it is not only kids so uh, even our spouse spouse our neighbors our parents in laws we should accept them as it is that is main thing what i learned it's a difficult but with meditational practice with anapanasati practice i got this acceptance easily my dear friends accepting everyone as they are because otherwise we will expect from them and that will lead unhappiness it won't help us so this is really very beautiful thing you said sirisha ji thank you for bringing this point so sirisha ji like after you know uh, after i mean this is again regular 6 years in us for you yes and you started uh, journey i think 22 years back lot of services you have done like i know uh, you are into pmc us also so what kind of services you are doing and 
what inspired you to do such things yeah so uh, in previous episode also i shared with you from day one i started meditation i, I started reading books and i started i wanted to do service to others that is my motto that's what uh, i prayed to baba so that is my motto right so i started uh, in paima group and uh, i started voluntary work from bangalore when i moved to usa so i never uh, uh, done uh, classes and uh, any uh, meditation classes but when i came here i started one on one sessions also i started through phone only so whoever interested just uh, i lost them to connect uh, through phone and uh, i i started giving my time to them so i do meditation from this side i lost them to sit do meditation from other side so no matter wherever you sit energy is same that's what i i experienced here oh okay energy is connecting uh, through phones also uh, uh in that way our uh, first experience i got so everyone whoever approaches it's difficult to sit for meditation so if anyone is a company with with me i can do more in that way they are asking me okay why don't why don't you give some time to me i'll also sit with you in that way i started one on one sessions because patris sir always says whatever you have you you give right whatever you have you you give to others so that time i have time i have time that's why i started giving time to teach in meditation i am also uh, uh, I, for one person also i used to sit for meditation for 40 minutes one hour like that so that is also is given a big experience to me whenever i sit with them easily i connect to the their higher self and i started uh, giving through the higher self i am giving some wisdom through me it's flowing like that i observe so through me it's flowing i observe that time only for one person also astral master will be there for one person also if you take for one person astral master presence will be there that's what i observe so later i started uh, uh, so patrisa is inaugurated uh, siddhartha pyramid Med- meditation center at my place so uh, in person meditation started so even uh, that time i didn't uh, keep particular time you can visit no any time you can come and uh, uh, utilize this place i invited the people so so one or two people they they come leisurely in their time and uh, i provided the place to do meditation like that i started so to two and a half year back uh, i think 3 years back we started pmc usa so there i started again my voluntary work to pmc usa i started uh, uh, organizing the sessions so in pand- during pandemic i reached the masters so from uh, uh, from india from andhra pradesh so balakrishna sir whoever reached uh, they they say okay i am going to teach for uh, um 30 30 days 40 days session and uh, it's a one year sessions like that they they committed oh really so one year they they are uh, committing and giving time to us so that is also it's made me wonder so so many pyramid masters are dedicating their lives and 
spreading meditation to everyone so even time also it doesn't matter it's a midnight also if you if you ask them they 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 will be ready okay so in that way i heard from all the masters whenever i reach to uk or germany whenever i reach them they are saying only yes i heard the word yes any time any time in the masters are available so for me it's really it's easy to organize the sessions uh, see every master is giving their time easily so i organize the sessions of jttp and inner journey and uh, uh, always i focus to bring patrisar's wisdom through j- journey towards true path that's what i promoted three seasons i have done and pmcsc regularly conducts full moon meditations that's uh, full moon meditations also i organize for 3 hours meditation and morning meditation regular morning meditations will be there recently we started night meditations so uh, in, in night meditation with 15 minutes uh, book club it's uh, 15 minutes there on, on the live itself they read 15 minutes uh, bo- 15 minutes from book and they start meditation even morning also morning meditations whatever they learn wisdom they share uh, 10 minutes wisdom and they start uh, uh, meditation like that i am taking volunteers uh, from all over usa so it's continuous it's continuously going on pmc usa and thursdays uh we are doing book club as thinking and destiny that is also it's a 50 plus episodes are done still it's so many episodes are there because we are not hurry but it's a, every page is very important and highlight uh, from the book that's why i, I asked the master so need not to be hurry we have not um, we, we never uh, fix that limited time i mean it's a limited weeks but time one hour only we spend we we usually spend one hour time but so the, uh, this much episodes and we never limited like that so it's a really wonderful service i initiated new program my dear friends wednesday every wednesday wednesday it's it's uh, coming up in it's a new program open discussions with pyramid masters it's a very very good platform to come and share your views and share your uh, uh, experiences or wisdom anything we are inviting you and uh, we are open to everyone just let's bring your friends to this platform and ask them to share their views with their own topic so in that way we are uh, coming up up next program will be inaugurate uh, on 14th june yeah that's what uh, i am doing from pmc sca kavita ji thank you thank you sirisha ji lot of things you are really doing i'm grateful to you i'm thankful to you for all the services uh, you know this book club is really very interesting thing and uh, the another woman as you are inviting masters to speak on their own subject it will help people to understand so many things and uh, like this is a, see because sometimes we don't feel like to read books do, we don't feel like to do that hard work but when we are with a team always team work help each other right when we do together when we listen sometimes we are not really ready to re- uh, read but when someone is reading it makes us interesting it it makes things interesting and uh, it help us even to enlightening ourselves so this these are really wonderful things and uh, i must say everyone i would you know invite you on behalf of sirisha ji and from ps pmc usa please join with her please uh, attend those sessions and uh, get more enlightened and uh, sirisha ji these are these are not only service you know uh, this is beyond something this is beyond service because service we do for sometimes we we are doing for others but 
at the same way at the same time it's helping ourselves also this is a great thing whatever i am doing it's giving more knowledge to me only for my sake i am doing these things not yes. for other sake yeah. definitely it's a, it's a, a selfish thing i could say <laughs> <laughs> This is the best selfish thing ever we can do to ourselves. Yes, yes. Yeah. And we should be proud of it. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. And group energies you said right group consciousness group, group energy. energies yeah. always helps us it uh, gives us uh, thrice more powerful energies right than individual meditation individual reading. So this kind of sajjana sangatya sharing experience it gives you more uh, thrice more energies you feel. that's what uh, oh any anything see uh, even even you observe yourself but the festival comes we always in uh, celebration mode right so that group energies gives us more uh, happiness very true yeah and celebration you know as as you use the right word sajjan sangatya so sajjan sangatya is not only just doing something uh, very typically but uh, enjoying it with each other learning with each other growing with each other helping each other by hand holding so when you connect to new people you you get more wisdom from them maybe yeah. they need through us it flows right naturally it flows like that it's both way it's beneficial so uh, coming to my next question regarding uh, your pyramid you said you you have your pyramid right where uh, patri ji also inaugurated that pyramid no no it's we have centers here in atlanta okay. not that uh, pyramid uh, has built because see th- that is my purpose to bring the pyramids to usa so through uh, my Uh, i already aligned with my purpose so once we aligned to the purpose naturally we we had to walk from baby steps yeah what yeah. we started uh, some baby steps through pmc usa and we recently we started uh, atlanta pyramid academy office uh, patricia has given to us apma a p m a atlanta pyramid meditation academy so that uh, office recently we inaugurated uh, during buddha purnima so there also in person meditations and uh, recently uh, three days i mean this full moon we conducted three days workshop friday three hours meditation we did day one day two we went to uh, falls uh with the uh, grand master prakriti uma mahesh and third day and this workshop uh, on mmm meditation mystic thinking manifestation so these three work uh, i mean three days we engaged uh, in full moon time and uh, next coming up weeks we are planning to bring summer camps for the kids that is wow. my plan wow. so we are going to bring uh in person sessions in atma center so <laughs> baby steps we are uh, just we started you are thinking it's a baby step but uh, uh, it's far beyond <laughs> it's not now baby step because lot of things are happening through you so first of all congratulation and my best wishes for this universal cause which you are doing thank you ma'am thank you thank you for your support and uh, uh, could you please throw some light on benefits of full moon meditation yes see full moon meditation it's already moon is full right so the extra energy is it comes to the earth only so we are on the earth right so we can receive more energies on the full moon day and group meditation is very very important every seeker will get to know the emotion the patterns of emotions on full moon day it may it might be higher side it might be lower side when you observe yourself particularly in full moon days it goes 
we are out there but when you sit into meditation and if you spend your time more in silence every energy transforms to higher side only whatever you have that emotion it transfers transfer transforms to higher energies only that's why we always encourage us to utilize full moon meditations and so much transformations will happen so much healing will happen during full moon meditations that's what i observe so yeah thank you for uh, uh, sharing the benefits of full moon meditation it's really very important patriji always uh, you know said so many imbalances in our emotions right yeah. so that's all going to be set right in full moon meditations and any great uh, uh, intentions if you have in, during full moon day it's manifest easily when you collect the energies of full moon meditation so friends we should do uh, this full moon meditation and if we do with group it will uh, bring more energies and doesn't matter if someone is there or not but we can always you know do with ourselves can connect easily through online yeah yes not only in person so you can connect uh, pmc always uh, uh, conducts full moon meditations right any pmc if you connect easily yes. you can do with yeah. group meditation yes yes so so many people are conducting online session on zoom and uh, doesn't matter you know the energy is important uh, don't feel that you are doing alone when you connect with each other you connect with energy you connect to that uh, energy level with each other so friends i recommend you i request you please join for this full moon meditation from wherever you are so sanisha ji what are what are the pyramid energies you have experienced and uh how you got transformation through pyramid energy yeah see when i was in bangalore i used to visit pyramid valley so whenever i go there lot of transformation i can see myself so whenever i sit under the pyramid or king shambar and the premises of pyramid valley itself it gives me more uh, inner inner wisdom to me and so much transformation happen so that's what i observed when I, when i was in pyramid valley so whereas i came to us i created myself as a uh, pyramid room at my place that helped me a lot whenever i feel low just uh, i go and sit under the pyramid and i uh, i spend some time for meditation under the pyramid it gives more relaxation and more calmness in my mind and more clarity easily i can connect the wisdom of higher self and out of body experiences everything and it's easily happens under the pyramid that's what i encourage to use the pyramids and energize your place home and uh, i keep the pyramids keep the pyramids on uh, on fruits and vegetables water in that way i energize my food and water and i started pyramid website pyramids for you through that website i am selling the pyramids uh, from this place my dear friends pyramidsforyou.com so i thought i i got intuition uh that is my purpose i had to bring the pyramids to this land of usa Th- that is my purpose though when i aligned one step i need to take so that got my intuition that i need to start website i started business here that is pyramidsforyou.com online business okay uh, and and my intuition asked me to start a job so now i started a part time job for 4 hours so after that i understood 
that every woman should freedom in financial status right yeah so once i'm started to earning the money i have rights to spend the money way to spend right so my, always my intentions wants to give some money some uh, to uh, give donations to the pyramids or uh, uh, so many activities we are bringing up here we are starting the sessions for that for all that we need money so when i started earning i'm um, it's easy to me to giving donations wise or uh, to start my business everything i got my freedom so i uh, now i understood money importance how to spend where to spend so uh, i i i have a house i have a car i am full needs already i have so if in, at this moment if i earn money what should i do with that money i learned how many activities we are starting here we are using that money so recently during buddha purnima i brought patrisar's uh, wisdom in telugu books i uh, spent money sa- for uh, uh, maybe 150 books i got 150 to 200 i think i got the books i distributed for uh, six states full wisdom of patrisar full set 35 books of patrisar wisdom i distributed during buddha purnima so that makes me very happy because i have a freedom to spend my money so i spend this money in this way that gives me more satisfaction satisfaction is very important to everyone right mm-hmm. with your actions whatever you do suppose if i if i if i am not able to give also now i am satisfied because i am full i am completed now okay so no money means i i can serve food i can cook for 50 members i can give food but somehow i got uh, money so i am using in a great way and spending that money money uh, money also is energy my dear friends it's a very very important how to utilizing is very important how uh, how we are earning also is very important that energy exchange is very very important so what you how you are getting how you are giving that balancing is very very important that that main lesson i learned uh, when i started earning money only this wisdom understood by spirituality only by practicing meditation only the money also it's a great energy that why we you, you, we call as lakshmi right lakshmi devi goddess lakshmi we compare the goddess lakshmi is very very important to everyone so how to receive how to give we should learn we are exchanging yes. great energies we all should know how to deal with money god that's what i understood uh, when i started earning money yes very truly said uh, sirisha ji uh, see the freedom word as you used we should have freedom in our life of decision making of doing wo- work or job and as you said about money energy which is really very important part of our life we should have that financial freedom always doesn't matter like how much our father or our husband have but we should have that freedom like women should be take their own decision 
and how to utilize this energy is really very important we should not waste a single rupee for unnecessary thing that is also very much important so in this i mean this last 4 years patri sir you know started mahila dhyana mahachakram so that women can come forward women can you know uh, lead the things because women have that energy that balance so when they experience only they can you know lead and uh, they can drive their entire family in a right way so women are made of naturally they are you know made up of all these things and that i can see in your journey like how you started and how you are you know managing everything being a uh, a housewife and now you are not just a housewife you are doing job you are handling pmc usa you have your kids you have husband so you are handling each and everything very perfectly so thank you for becoming such wonderful example for all of us thank you ma'am thank you thank you so much uh, kavita ji i have a, a small request from you so yes, pmc is here is uh, launching a new program please support us so provide us speakers or uh, promo um, anything whichever you can contribute from your side from your viewers you please uh, connect to pmc usa and uh, share your wisdom through that platform definitely definitely so friends yeah uh, we all request you we all are one doesn't matter from which pmc we are but we should you know support each other so at last sirisha ji a uh, small message again to our viewers <laughs> yeah only one message my dear friends practice anapana sati meditation our breath master will take care of everything whatever may be whatever changes in your life it's a it's a difficult part even though if it's a difficult situations but should believe your own breath your breath master will take care of you and be a vegetarian my dear friends and uh, uh, try to utilize pyramid energies that's what uh, i wanted to give it's not a message what i've learned i'm giving uh, through this uh, channel i'm sharing to you all about pyramid energy and meditation thank you friends thank you thank you all thank you so much rishi ji for bringing uh, such a beautiful point again so as patris has started his journey uh, to spread meditation to spread vegetarianism and slowly not only in india uh, he started like 41 years back and uh, now it's spread to each and every country from uh, india to outside also so now sirisha ji has started pmc usa and she is doing lot of things friends i request you please come forward please start meditation and please be vegetarian do not harm anyone not even other animals and uh, sirisha ji once again thank you for uh, sharing your wisdom thank you for coming thank you so much thank you thank you thank you all